We're about to find out because it is time to light the fires and kick the tires here at the Port Royal Speedway and the green flag is out. Daylog stocks the tail tank of AJ Flick into turn number one. Here comes Darren Pippen on the bottom. Side by side for second. Daylog has the spot as he starts his chase of AJ Flick. Flick on the high side. He'll lead the field down the front stretch. AJ Flick looking pretty good as Lake Greg said he will lead lap number one. Now we got a battle for fourth. Here comes a 19 of Brett Marks. He's going to slide up in front of Corey Eisen. Move Marks in the four. Here comes Marks down to the inside. Side by side move. Brett Marks into the third spot. He slides up. Pittman crosses underneath him. Darren Pittman takes the spot right back. Great battle for third. Marks right back at Pittman onto the inside. He's going to slide up. Here comes Pittman with another run. They drag race into turn number three. Pittman looking good in the 39. Slides up in front of Marks. Can Marks turn the car? He does. They are still side by side. Side by side. They go for third. That enables Bill Baylock to run away a little bit. Baylog trying to close on Flick. Flick's led the first seven circuits as he enters lap traffic. AJ Flick leading the first laps of his Flow Racing All-Star Circuit of Champions career. Meanwhile, as Baylog closes, here comes Brent Marks. Top three breaking away from the rest of the field. Billy Baylog, he calls his shot. He looks into the inside, slides up in front of Flick. Flick not backing down. They drag race in the turn number three. Here comes AJ Flick close racing right there. Oh, the lead up. Now here comes Brent Marks. Three wide for the lead off of turn number four. Close racing. Your new leader is going to be the 17 via Baylock. Here comes Marks. Marks down to the inside. Baylock made contact with Flick as they battle for the top spot. Flick back to third as Marks is closed on Baylock. Big slider for the lead in turn three. Brent Marks slides, slips over the cushion. Baylock will lead lap number 10. Now Baylock into the inside. He's going to slide up, put the dirty air on Marks. Marks makes a good corner. They're off for turn number two. They are nose to tail down the back stretch. Here comes Brent Marks. He's going to try to slide up. Short slide job by Marks. He'll drive by close racing. They're off a four for the lead. Your new leader is Brent Marks. You see on the double screen for everyone tuning in on the floor racing. That's your leader at the bottom right. Brent Marks. Great battle for fourth between the two of AJ Flick and the 26 of Corey Eliason. Oh, trouble in turn number four. four. Car hitting the guardrail very hard. It's going to be the 45 of Jeff Halligan getting to the outside guardrail in turn number four. The red flag is out with 17 laps to go. Marks will determine when we get back on the pedal. Here we go. Green flag is at. Good start by Brent Marks as he leaves the field of turns one and two. In second is 17B Baylog. Slips high just a little bit. Here comes the 39 of Darren Pittman. Baylog is there. He's within five car lengths as cars still jockeying around for position in front of your leader, Brent Marks. Look at the 17B. Rip the lip there in turn number four. He's right there with Marks. Marks has to shoot down to the inside and Baylog really closing now. Here comes Bill Baylog. Brent Marks, you've got company in the form of the North Pole Nightmare. We got a battle for the lead this time by. We're going to have four more laps to go. Marks still leads them. Here we go. What can Billy Baylog do for to go? Eliason trying to get by. Rico slides Aaron Reitzel back in the pack. That's for the seventh spot is this time by Earl Hoon Jr. The white flag will fly. One to go for Brent Marks. And Marks has worked up to a 1.5 second lead as Pittman and Eliason still battling out for that third spot. But meanwhile, making his final turn there in turn number four. As checker flag is out and he brings it home. Brent Marks will open up the Tuscore 50 with a win.